Hello friends and welcome to my very first vlog. Second video ever, but first vlog. Um, I filmed a bit when I was home at the beach this past week. I have a get ready with me. I have how I shoot my Instagram photos. If you don't follow me, it's Rosalie Rouge. Um, I'm a full-time content creator. So I'm always shooting content wherever I go, whenever I can. Um, I have a beach day and I have a whole like sunscreen breakdown. I have tons of random content in this video um, but I hope you guys enjoy it and next time I promise I'll do like a proper intro so let's get into it okay, good morning Good morning vlog. This is my first official vlog. I am home at the beach today, so I thought I would take you guys along for a little beach day. It is early, I think it's like 7 a.m. right now, as you can tell in my morning voice. So I need to put some SPF on before we head out the door, but I'm happy to take you guys along. And hopefully by the next clip, I will have some caffeine in my system, because right now I have zero. Jake into coming to help me shoot on the beach because it was the perfect lighting. Nothing makes me happier than a sunset golden hour light and the beach is just perfect for that. So I had a few products that I wanted to get some shots of and usually I do shoot them myself. However, I needed Jake's help um, because sometimes you can't just do it by yourself and I am blessed that he is a super talented husband and knows how to work a camera, so that's always a good thing. <laughs> I 
Okay, so a little recap. I am home in my like hometown area where there's a beach uh, for the week and I'm like trying to vlog here and there. This is my first vlog. Um, and I got some footage from when we were at the beach the other day and today is like really gross weather. Um, but I thought I would share with you guys because my content is mostly like beauty content as my phone's going off. I thought I would share some of my favorite sunscreens. I have a ton of sunscreens. I am like a total sunscreen snob and I'm really picky about what I use. So I thought we could just like go through them casually. I'm on my third iced coffee of the day. Heavily caffeinated, but it's okay. So let's start off with body sunscreens. This is one that I recently discovered a couple weeks ago from my friend on here, Rudy Berry. I don't know if you guys follow her. I love her. We became friends over the internet this year and she loves the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Lotion. You don't get a ton of product in this. You get three ounces, um, but I believe it's like under $10. This is the SPF 50. It has a little bit of like a floral fragrance but it goes away and it doesn't feel like that like sticky sunscreen feeling um so this is a really good option that i've been loving i have just a little bit left for more higher end um this is one that my family actually had and now i'm obsessed with it this is the super goop play um it's like a continuous mist it's also a chemical sunscreen it's spf 50 it goes on really well it's like a thick hefty spray it's not like one that will just like fly away in the wind so i am really liking this one as well we've gone through a bunch of it and there's also vitamin c in it and this sunscreen i call my like clubbing daytime sunscreen i don't club um <laughs> but this is the super goop glow screen body i love the face one i actually don't have it with me um but this is like shimmery so if you think of like a shimmery body lotion that's literally what this is um there are like flecks of glitter in it that do transfer so if you're gonna be like out on a boat or like hanging on the beach or like at a pool party i think this is great but it does transfer onto your clothes i don't even know if it's gonna like translate on camera um it's not because it's overcast but um this is really nice but i wouldn't wear this like as a day-to-day -day sunscreen whatsoever this is specifically for like if you want to like glisten and glimmer and glitter and all that jazz i have a bunch of mini uh face sunscreens but i can only find one at the moment so i have the biosant squalene zinc sheer mineral sunscreen and i've heard mixed reviews about this over the years and i that's why i was hesitant to buy the full-size version but I'm actually really enjoying this. This is good if you have like normal to dry skin. I think it might be a little too heavy for oily skin, but if you have sensitive skin like I do, I think this is a really nice option. It's very moisturizing. So sometimes I'll just put like a vitamin C on and this, especially if I'm going out in the heat and it's hot out, but I'm really enjoying the sample so far. If you follow me on any other platform, you know that the Kinship Self Reflect is like my ride or die for day to day uh this is an spf 32 and it's a mineral sunscreen so again it's great if you have sensitive skin i think it would really work for any skin type unless you are like extremely oily but the consistency is really interesting there's a little bit of like a vanilla scent to it but nothing that like sticks around or irritates your skin so it's almost like a putty mousse formula i don't know if this is gonna focus but it really it rubs in nicely and the good thing about this sunscreen in particular is that it works on like all skin tones and kinship actually did a campaign uh using people with all different skin tones and this spf worked on them usually mineral sunscreens you have to be a little careful a lot of them do leave white casts even though they say they don't um so you really got to find a good one and the kinship one is great you can get kinship at ulta i've seen it in store you can get it on credo's website uh i'll link everything down below if that's helpful for you guys I just really like this and I think it's a good reliable one and for this size it's 1.75 ounces it's $25 but they also came out with like a jumbo size if you know you love it um, so definitely recommend that. 
And lastly is a sunscreen that I feel like indifferent about. Like I like it. I don't hate it, but I'm not like obsessed with it. And it expires in a couple months, so I want to use it up. This is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield. It is a mineral sunscreen. It's SPF 50, broad spectrum, PA++++. Um, I don't love this, but I also don't hate it. I'm kind of just like trying to use it up. I know that they've come out with um, a launch. I think it's this sunscreen, but they also have like a range of tones of skin tones um, that you can get like light, medium, dark, and deep, I believe. So I kind of want to try this. This is more of like a, just like a neutral tinted sunscreen like a tiny bit um and i like it i'm just not like obsessed so i definitely want to try something different so just trying to use this one up i'm sure i have more sunscreens in like my actual beach bag that is downstairs but those are just a few just a few just six um of the ones that i brought and i thought it'd be interesting to those of you who are looking to get a new sunscreen um or just see what i have in my bag and i will see you guys in the next clip so we are officially back from the beach. Everyone is decompressing a bit, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed my very first vlog. I promise I'll get better. Um, I guess this is my some form of an outro. Um, I will be prepared next time a little bit more, but I just got out of the shower. Today's Monday, so start to the week. And thanks for watching and stick around for next time.